to what is arguably the most unique spring luncheon ever held by St. Louis Priory School's Mother's Club. I'm Beth Blessing and it has been my honor to serve as the Mother's Club president this year. Today you'll be hearing from numerous special individuals culminating in a very moving musical performance by our boys under the direction of Stephanie Alley. While it is sad that we cannot be together personally, I am thrilled that we have been able to put together a virtual celebration of our year together. It is tempting to focus on the challenges we have faced since COVID-19, but I would like to recognize the accomplishments of the entire Mothers Club, especially the forum communicators who have kept us in touch with one another, the volunteer coordinators who ensured that events happened for all of us, our event chairs who organized these amazing events that happened in the fall and winter, as well as the work being done behind the scenes by those who are tweaking and organizing events that are yet to happen. I would especially like to recognize my board who have been a strong source of support for me all year. Um, Colleen Wassinger is our vice president and she's the first person that I called on to serve on my board. She has always been there for me and for all of Mother's Club. Her organized, calm, professional de demeanor and flexibility have been very critical, especially during this year. She coordinated the Monk's Labor Day me meal, organized faculty and staff appreciation, oversaw all things related to the completed senior tie project and various other senior events that are still happening. I don't know what I would have done without her. I am truly, truly, appreciative. Kelly Mitchell has been very busy this year serving a dual role as our treasurer for the second year as well as the Mother's Club president-elect. The treasurer position alone is a lot to ask of a volunteer mom. Uh, it is almost a full-time job especially when you have a president for whom the financial role is not a strength. I have kept her very busy this year and relied on her quite heavily. Her attention to detail, seemingly endless supply of energy, and the out-of-the-box ideas that she comes to the table with are strengths for Kelly and will serve Priory well in the upcoming year. She is truly a great gift to the school. Stephanie Granberg has selflessly served Priory's Mother's Club for three years as the volunteer coordinator. She is a very humble and gracious woman who has coordinated the Mother's Club generous volunteers um, in over 30 events each year, never drawing attention to herself or to the incredible tasks she was responsible for. I am so thankful for her efficiency, humility, and genuinely beautiful soul. Sarah Clark has served 
for the second year as the secretary for Mothers Club. She takes detailed notes at our meetings and keeps the lines of communication open with our members. She is a creative and down-to-earth individual. In fact, she recently suggested putting together minutes to chronicle this unique year and its event modifications, something I probably never would have thought of myself. So thank you so much, Sarah. We are blessed to have you. Last but certainly not least, I would like to acknowledge Teresa Johnson, the past Mother's Club president. This lovely woman has been there every time I have needed her by phone call, text, email, or the copious notes she has kept for me, um, the event notebook that I refer to daily. Her support, her advice, and her strength of character have been invaluable to me and to many others. Her role model is wonderful for all of us. While I'm extremely, extremely grateful for my board, I must acknowledge that Mother's Club cannot do what it does without the support of everyone in advancement under the direction of Janice Bailey. I truly enjoy working with each and every member of advancement. Mary Rhodes, however, is the secret, well, not so secret ingredient to the Mother's Club's success. She is truly inspiring. Her expertise, guidance, creativity, and patience, especially with me uh, this year, have been invaluable. Mother's Club is blessed with her warmth, kindness, and grace. I cannot express my gratitude enough. I would also like to share my sincere appreciation, appreciation to the incredible, talented, and flexible faculty and staff, as well as Abbott Gregory and Father Cuthbert. The Mother's Club appreciates your continued support, prayer and dedication to the school and to us as mothers and parents overall at Priory. I am so glad you are here to celebrate with us today. It is now my sincere pleasure to introduce Chris Look, this year's Rhinestone Rodeo Chair. She is my dear friend. We worked closely together this year and I'm grateful for that. No matter how much she had on her plate, which was already full, she never hesitated to reach out to me before her events, before my events, to offer her assistance. She is a gracious woman with a very generous heart who led one of the most memorable Xanadu fundraising events, we, and we all had a wonderful time. Chris will take it from here. Thank you, Beth. I'd like to say Beth has done an amazing job as Mother's Club president, and it has been wonderful getting to know her over the past year. It was an honor to be your 2020 Xanadu Chair. I was blessed to work with so many people who gave so much of themselves to make the event a success. I'd like to thank the Rhinestone Rodeo Chairs and volunteers for their countless hours of dedication, the guests who made the event memorable, and the donors who were so generous with their contributions. I'd also like to give a special thank you to Mary Rhodes and the Switzer staff, whose past experience and knowledge was invaluable. They made my job easy. On behalf of the Priory family, I'd like to present Abbott Gregory with this check for $555,000. Wow, what a nice big check. On behalf of us all, may I thank all of you who made this year's Xanadu such a wonderful and successful event. You know, every year I tell the Xanadu Committee what Pope St. John the 23rd said, it's your church, Lord, I'm going to bed. I always think of Xanadu in the same way. It's your Xanadu, Lord. Not that you all just go to bed and don't work incredibly hard and give, your, give of yourself 150%, but that in the end, this labor of love for our Priory students and their families is in the hands of the Lord. And if we trust in him, then he will bring it to the result he wills for it. In these challenging days of COVID-19, we all need to keep in our hearts more than ever our faith in God's providential care for us. We are, all of us, in the Lord's hands. I would be remiss if I did not single out two individuals whose tireless efforts made both Xanadu and the entire year such a success for the Mothers Club. President Beth Blessing and Xanadu Chair Chris Look. Chris, your quiet, serene, encouraging, and always approachable character made this year's Xanadu so very special. You have touched so many with your gift of quiet assurance and true friendship. May God bless you immensely for all you have done. And may he especially bless you and your family 
for the many sacrifices they have made during this year. Beth, as president of the Mothers Club, you have shepherded us through a very challenging year. Your gentle encouragement and approachability made every aspect of the Mothers Club year enjoyable and successful. The tone you set was so wonderful and became all the more important as we entered into this new territory of COVID-19. May God richly bless you for all your selfless dedication to the Priory School and its families. And may God bless your family for their sacrifices this year. To you all, on behalf of all who are the beneficiaries of this great work of generosity for the Priory School, our students and their families, our faculty and staff, and the monks, may I thank you most sincerely and assure you of the prayers of the monastic community for you all and for your intentions. I'm happy now to turn things over to Father Cuthbert. Thank you, Father Abbott, for the introduction. Uh, and welcome uh, all mothers who are watching this video. Um, thank you for being part of this annual Spring Mothers Club Luncheon. Uh, I'm not wearing contacts. I've just taken my glasses off because the glare is very distracting uh, to me, and I'm just assuming to you as well. Uh, this is my annual opportunity to thank you as a group, um, not just for your leadership in our community and for your upbringing of wonderful boys and for sending them to our school, but in a really special way, in a really particular way, how you have built up, supported, and reanimated the mission of our school during what began as a wonderful and exciting year and has ended in something that is out of the twilight zone. Um, as always, um, mothers get it done and mothers take care of those of us who are in need in our community. And everything from um, the administration of the club uh, under Beth Blessing and the officers to the huge year-long um, endeavor of Xanadu under the leadership this year of Chris Look and always of course also of Mary Rhodes um, but to the smaller things Beata Vobis the reaching out to those in our community who are in need that is more important now than ever and not just reaching out as a gesture but reaching out with genuinely maternal compassion um, the kind that can't be faked Without that, our community would be hollower. It would be missing something important and essential to who we are as a community at Priory. And I just want to thank you so much for all these ways, known and unknown, that you have enriched our lives and helped us get through the difficulties on a day-by-day -day basis. I especially want to express my gratitude to every mother who has written a note of thank you or encouragement or gratitude to a member of the faculty and staff. The last few weeks have been very difficult for all of us and your words of appreciation and encouragement have helped us keep going. I also would be remiss um, if I didn't uh, acknowledge all of the wonderful ways in which you have helped your sons become better young men this year and uh, it's true every year, I think, uh, when the seniors get close to graduation. And I'm sorry we won't be having soon that, that event uh, of the mother and son luncheon. But it's, it's just always so gratifying to me to see how wonderful our young men become. And that is in no small part to your ministry. Well, without going on too much longer, because I've been told that I have to keep things short, uh, I want to, ah, sorry, the glasses. Um, present just symbolically um, a small gift of appreciation uh, first to Beth Blessing for her leadership this year and then of course also to Chris Look. Uh, the two of you have set a wonderful example for me uh, and I know for every mother here so thank you for your service this year and I look forward to I hope uh, working with you or maybe just uh, uh, continuing to celebrate everything you have achieved next year uh, and I'm especially excited to announce now that our next speaker is Kelly Mitchell, who will be taking responsibility for leading the Mothers Club next year. Uh, and Kelly, I believe, is now going to introduce um, the other mothers that are in the uh, leadership of the Mothers Club with her. So 
Thank you again so much for being here and God bless you all. Thank you so much, Father Cuthbert. Hello everyone. While this school year has not ended the way that we had hoped, we still have much to be grateful for. Our sons attend an amazing school with a terrific administration, faculty, staff, and wonderful spiritual support from the monks. I am also grateful for each of you and the entire Priory community. I'd like to thank Beth Blessing for serving all of us and the community this year with grace, dignity, and her lovely character. She has definitely been a wonderful representative for Priory Moms. I'm excited to introduce next year's Mother's Club Board. The Vice President and my right-hand woman will be Lynn Finney. Bridget Lally will be our next treasurer and Amy Glarner will be the next volunteer coordinator. Sarah Clark has agreed to return to the board as secretary and the next president-elect is Corrine Azrak. Mother's Club and all the events that we enjoy year after year would not be possible without all of you saying yes to the many volunteer opportunities. And I just want to personally thank each of you for always saying yes. This includes our next speaker. I'm happy to introduce next year's Xanadu Chair, Teresa Johnson. I look forward to working with all of you next year. Have a great summer. Thank you, Kelly. Congratulations to you and your board. I look forward to working with you next year. I would also like to extend my congratulations to Chris Look and the Xanadu team for a job well done. You have set the bar high and I am grateful for the foundation you've laid as we have started to plan for Xanadu 21. I am very excited to announce this year's theme, which is served to Priory. I look forward to gathering with you on February 6th as our community comes together to support St. Louis Priory School. I am so grateful for all of those who have already said yes, but we could use more volunteers. Please feel free to reach out to me or look for upcoming Xanadu emails. Before I pass it back to Beth, I just wanted to thank her for her time and efforts in leading the Mother's Cup this year. Thank you, Beth. Thank you, Father Cuthbert, on behalf of Chris Look and myself for this wonderful surprise. And if the rest of you want to find out what's inside, just contact us and we'll let you know. We really appreciate it. I would like to thank all of you for entrusting me with this role, serving as St. Louis Priory's Mother's Club president this year. Uh, it has been a true honor, and I have been blessed to forge many wonderful relationships because of this role. Um, so needless to say, I miss all of you, and I would love to continue to hear from you. So please do reach out. Now we will close with a special treat. Uh, this is always one of the highlights of the Spring Mother's Club Luncheon. I would like to introduce Stephanie Alley, directing the Junior Chorus, who will be singing Down by the Riverside by Lon Beery and Pamela Lee. Down by the Riverside is one of the most beloved of all African-American spirituals, a song full of faith and hope in the midst of some of life's most difficult circumstances. I guarantee you will be moved and uplifted. Thank you all for sharing your beautiful gift of music with us. Study.
Laus tibi domine, I have to keep the video on. One more time. God of great and God of small. God of one and God of all, God of never-ending power, yet beside me every hour. Alleluia, alleluia, laus tibi domine. Of never ending power, <laughs> yet beside me every God of great <laughs> and God <laughs> of small destiny, God of never ending power. <laughs> alleluia, alleluia, last he be domine. God of life and destiny, God of never-ending power, yet beside me every hour. Alleluia, alleluia, laus tibi domine. I didn't breathe that. <laughs> God of God whose love turns wrong to right, God of heaven and God of earth, God of death and God of birth, God of birth, God who reigns forevermore. I'm trying, I don't know. <laughs> You're like way off. I'm even close.